welcome back to algorithm made easy this is the final optimization of the question we have been solving once you are new this is a question from one of the most cherished and best selling books in the tech world cracking the coding interview it says does the string has all the unique characters you would not want to miss the previous videos from the series check out the videos at the top so without wasting time let's move ahead till now we have used set and array to solve this problem what else can we use to improve our solution okay let me frame it this way can we solve this question while playing around with bits yes we can use a bit vector a bit vector can be considered as an array of bits in this problem we will use an integer variable that will act as a bit vector also we are assuming that the input will contain only lower case characters in this way each bit in the 32 bit integer will act as a checker it will hold the information about the characters present in the string let's also go through some basic bit manipulation operations we will be using in the video first is the left shift operation we will use left shift operation on one it will shift one to its left by n where n will be the number indicating how far a character is from a alphabetically what is the significance of this operation if we view it as a bit vector we will be marking the presence of character by 1 let's see it with an example one left shift 10 will shift 1 from the last bit to the bit that represents k we will also use and operation and or operation in our solution if you are not familiar with it here is a table explaining the operations of and and or let's jot down the basic exit conditions as mentioned in the previous video we will exit the loop if the length of input string is greater than our character set secondly we'll exit the loop if we find a repeated character let's take an example considering input string is hello let's get the bit vector for h as we can see on the screen h is 7 characters away from a our bit vector will be 1 left shifted 7 times at the beginning the checker bit vector will have a value int of 0 at this point we have the checker and the bit vector of character h if we perform an and operation on both we will get a value that will denote if we have already seen this character a value greater than 0 will indicate that it is a duplicate character how we will see it shortly as we encounter a duplicate character now we will update the checker the checker will be the output of its or operation with the bit vector for the character at any given time the bit vector for checker will contain ones at positions representing the character we have iterated through till that time moving forward we will create a bit vector for e that will be by shifting 1 by 4 bits we will check if the bit is duplicate by performing an and operation with the checker the result here is not greater than 0 so we move forward and update the checker as we can see the or operation of the checker and the bit vector e we have ones at the position indicating the character h and d e. moving on to l here is the bit vector again the and operation results to 0 which means it is not a duplicate so we will update the checker again we can again see that the checker will now have ones for bits representing h e l moving on to the next character bit vector is same as for the previous l now we can see that the resulted bit vector and the and operation contains one that makes the number greater than 0 here our exit condition triggers and the loop breaks this makes our logic return that the string does not have all the unique characters similar to the previous algorithm the time complexity stays o of 1 while the space complexity would practically reduce by a factor of 8 as we are using an int instead of an array however in theory it still stays o of 1 check out the link to the java code in the description below thanks for watching the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel check out my other videos for more interview problems let me know in the comment section what you think about the video also 
If you want me to make a video on one of your problem statement, do comment.